Okay, K1 GMM here. Been working off and on this weekend. I'm not much of a contester. Working the uh, D, uh, DX contest in the month of March here, 2017. And just want to do a comparison between the IC7300 and the oldie but goodie Kenwood TS430S. Been talking to a lot of people uh, re in regards to the filtering uh, with QRM. Uh, and the lack of the ability, the inability to get QRM out uh, while you're working uh, close, close in stations uh, with heavy QRM uh, during contests with a 7300. Um, I've heard through the grapevine, uh, it seems like everyone I talk to, uh, Kenwoods are brilliant as far as that. They're very capable in handling uh, QRM uh, and Yesu. Uh, radios like that. I do have a Kenwood TS430S here, so I decided, oh, what the heck, I'll drop it on the table. And I have a 20 meter hex beam jacked into the 7300, and I have a parasitic array jacked into the TS430S. They both load very, very similar, and they both hear equally as well. It, the array may be uh, the Delta Loop Array may be down half an S unit, 3 dB. I suspect it's anywhere from 1 or 2, possibly 3 dB. It depends greatly on where the signals are coming from. But uh, all else being e equal, they are pretty close. So I figured this would be a good comparison to check. Uh, I was working DX yesterday into Europe in the contest on the Array and the Hex Beam with uh, very similar results. Uh, the only thing that was different was the hex provided a little bit more punch uh, for the far out stations with a heavy QRM. Same amount of power, uh, 300 to 400 going in uh, into the antennas uh, coming out and they were very very similar. I did switch over to the hex uh, only a couple times. Uh, pretty much everyone, er, anyone I heard I could work except for Kuwait on the uh, and, and the hex beam or the array didn't make any difference with that one, but uh, there you go. So that's the situation here. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to, I've got the, I'm assuming they're still in the same place. I'm going to show you the difference between the two radios on receive, and you guys can be the judge. I, I am leaning towards the selectivity on the Kenwood uh, being better than the IC7300 and I will run through the filter adjustments and work on getting the QRM out and you'll see the difference. There's virtually no adjustment except IF shift in a notch filter which a notch doesn't do anything on the, 7, on the 430S. So here we go. This is the 7300. Uh, let's go to work on that first. Okay, so I found if I roll the RF gain back, that's pretty rough. There's somebody literally within like 0.3K. And I found that the bandwidth setting, let's narrow it up even more. We're down to 2.2. Okay, that's perfectly readable right there. This is back to default. Okay, I'll wait for the QRM to come back up really strong. So let me show you standalone. Reset the bandwidth to 2.7. And then I'll jump to the 430. So here we go. This is the 430S coming up. 
That's the 430. And I'll roll. Okay, that's a slight roll of the IF shift. That's back flat. See what I mean? It seems like the 430 is more selective. Okay, let me roll the RF gain back down. Okay, let's go back to 73. 7300. This is the 7300 with no filter, with no uh, twin PVT adjustment. Okay, that. So as you can see, the the filtering is definitely superior on the 7300, uh, but it almost seems like the 430 is less fatiguing on the ears. Uh, it's definitely not as sensitive as the uh, ICOM 7300, but there you go. Figured I'd do a comparison here. Back to default. Okay, roll the RF gain back. Yeah, the filtering is definitely superior on the 7300, uh, but the receiver sounds to me like it's a bit more harsh. Uh, it's more harsh. Uh, let's go back to the 430. This is the IF shift at neutral. See how see how the the signal uh, the signal on the 430 stays above the QRM. The QRM's pretty bad. See, with just a slight roll of the IF shift, you can hear the. The station you're trying to work stays just above uh, where everybody else is at. It's pretty neat. ICOM 7300. See how it's harder to... The, and I noticed the bandwidth... Let's go down to 2.2. Okay, that's a tighter filter. So there's a trade-off. Ooh, that is bad. Okay, 
Okay, 4.30. So here's a 4.30, yes. I don't know. So you guys be the judge. I figured I'd throw that in there and uh, uh, don't know quite what to make of it. Uh, but 7300, I love the radio, but I hear there's much better transceivers for uh, working close in with heavy, heavy QRM. Ken Woods, Jesus uh, do a much better job from what I've heard. Uh, but as you could hear, the 430 The audio of the station on the frequency you're trying to work. Hear how, hear how it jumps out, out at you a little bit better? It's just really interesting. Uh, seems to be, uh, it's not as sensitive, but it's definitely more selective. 7-3, hope you enjoyed the comparison. I uh, figured I'd throw that in there for good measure even though there's not a whole lot of science to it. 7-3, catch you soon on the bands, K1GMM.